All right, I think I'm back. I actually think this is okay now. Crazily enough. Like, I think it just threw a wobbly my inset was just like, you know what, screw you. I'm just going to have a timeout myself and then we'll be all good in the hood. I think everything looks a little bit more stable now. Everything's showing up as green. So I'm really sorry about that, guys. That's not me. I think it might have been actually Twitch, actually. That might have been Twitch because my inset's never that bad. I've got 10 uploads, so that's not... That, that's the problem. I think it was just genuinely, I think, a, a Twitch issue there. Because my OBS just completely just dropped out for like a second or two. So, uh, uh, I think we're back, aren't we? We're back? Don't blame Twitch. I, I don't, I, I don't want to say it is or isn't Twitch. I'm just, I'm just, it's just saying it could be. Anyway, let's just, let's just, let's just carry on, shall we? Am I back? Can I, can I get a A-OK -okay from everyone here? Alright, we'll just, we'll just carry on, shall we? Well, it looks like Fire's just cleaned up house here on, on the front of Yo. Yo now is starting to get wheelbarrow. This tower is still up, and actually Yo puts yet another tower down the front here. Been a bit of a scrappy fight from earlier on with those villagers, but Yo has claimed his gold, which is actually huge. But look at this actually here from Yo, uh, from Fire. A okay, right. So this tower's coming down with the one build, but looks like Yo is responding with yet another tower of his own, and this should be able to just basically make sure the gold is his. Fire just bought a hundred food. He's actually maybe looking to click up soon enough, but lacking a decent amount of food. Yo's a little bit further behind, actually, but he is making more and more towers just to reclaim his own base. Whilst Fire is actually sitting pretty, pretty, you know, pretty legit. But the thing is, he's actually six villagers behind. And and Yo got Wheelbarrow, so I can't even claim it's just down to the fact that, you know, Wheelbarrow hasn't been done by Yo. It's just the fact that he has done it. So Fire's actually lost a fair amount of villagers here, but it's probably from the forward itself. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's continue on, shall we? Ooh, actually, look at this from here from Yo, actually putting in another town, but this time a bit more aggressive from earlier on. He's actually going to put it onto this wood line, and that will definitely hit most of it for sure. Especially when he's going to get that fletching on that, too. Probably hit most of this, definitely going to get knocked out. But this should be actually relatively safe, so not, not the worst tower in the world, but it is doing some damage. And actually, it looks like Fire's already taken wind of this, I think, and he's just already migrated some of his doors to this other side of the lumber camp. So it's four bills. Let's try and wall the rest of that tower. And Fire is the first one to click up to the castle, ladies and gentlemen. He's actually fairly ahead of him, actually. Yo is still hasn't clicked up, actually. He has got the gold for it. He's just nearly got the food. Just needs to click up. He's probably like, Kabard, Kabard, please click. And then he go. There we go. Now he clicks up. Fire, though. Get his scale binding armor. This is a classic response after a game like this. I'm gonna drop a stable down, start going knights or something like that. Maybe two staple. Potentially three, but I don't think he's got a big enough eco. And oh my god, this is insane. This Yo is just going full ham on this right now. He's just But I think it oh is it gonna get to Oh it's gonna get denied, I think. Oh Oh fire. You were disgust Oh what? No. Oh that's such BS. Oh that I can't I, I know this is possible as well, but Oh, man, if I was fire, I would just be raging. Like, come on, this is just so unfair. Building through the palisade. That far, he has to delete all those farms and start relaying at the back. I don't think it's got a big enough food eco to do even two stables. Probably one. That tower will go up. What a tower from Yo. Yeah, definitely Yo is a bloody hacker. And Yo himself is up on the way to Castle Age. He's actually about a minute behind or so, but... I think he's still got a good advantage despite all this. Two stables, apart from Fire. Fire himself, how's his resource looking? Well, he's got barely any food, but that's because he's already spent some of it in those stables itself. But even still, and yet another tower being put down by Yo as well. Getting super aggressive. What is, is, are these knights going to get there on time? Or Okay, the knight probably will get there on time. But look at this from Yo, or he's going to wall in the... the the tower, he's got, got himself walled in too. The, the, oh, it's just too late. Mm, the, the knight can't do anything. Now he's trying to get chain binding armor as well. And now she's even more villains trying to be committed here from fire to try and take the palisade down. But that's just a bit worthless if you ask me. He's got so many idols here on the farmland too. Fire's economy is looking pretty shot, if you ask me. 
It looks like Urban Fires can try and do some raiding of his own, though. This stone pile here is looking a little bit precarious. This tower hasn't got much HP on it either, so it can be taken down quite easily, I think, actually. You're responding by doing camels first. Again, quite a natural response. He's going to get bloodlines and plus one armor. Plus two armor open fire here. No bloodlines. As more and more knights start to stream in, of course. I actually repaired more of that tower, but yeah, that's actually quite nice and cheeky, but... I want to look back here. Actually, that tower did go down in the end, so well played there by Fire, but it did come at some cost, I feel. Back to the action, though. I'm just going to try and take this tower down full of villagers by the stone. Now Forger coming out. More and more Camel Steins to be pumped here from, from Yo. Of course, a good counter to Knights. Especially in fact in the Turk War, of course, you can't make any pikemen. And uh, the Camel's doing a decent-ish job, actually. Now the Spearmen getting involved, too. Oh, they're going to Shrek them. Even with plus two armor, they just didn't even stand a chance. And of course, not actually a lot of raiding being done. Now this Vil cap is... Gap, not cap. Gap is slowly extending here. Now it's seven bills out. Make it eight. Sorry. Make it eight. Another mill being put up by fire as it strikes. <laughs> Make more and more farms. Fire is slowly losing this game, I feel, actually. He's got to try and do something. He's actually got a monastery out. Healing up those knights. And, of course, get, could get a good couple of conversions in on those camels. But I first got to try and deal with this back at home. These two towers. No, four or five towers back at home. It's taking him off his main gold, his stone. And, of course, his wood line here, too. Maybe a, maybe a siege workshop would have been better suited than the monastery. And the four knights start to come out. Monk also coming out as well from Yo. Now Fire's doing the bloodlines. Any plus two here from Yo? Nope. Just got plus one, plus one bloodlines. I'm, I'm just going to all the blinks. I'm gonna pick up a relic while he can. He's like, I'll have that. Thank you very much. There's a lot of villas seem to be retreating here from fire. It looks like the main gold, that gold has been used up. So now it's gold thinking, well, what can I do next? Well, he can take, try and take these towers down if he feels like it. But take, could actually lose a good amount of villas in the process. Look, a lot of them are actually quite weak here. To be fair. Especially going to just sort of charge in like that with no real plan. Oh, this is just, uh, uh, he's going to lose a few villas here. Yep. One bill down, two villas down, just from towers. You can't even take this, one, this tower down either. Oh, fire. This is... Oh, fire. This is not good. Three bills are lost. Oh. I think he's a little bit lost, actually, I'll be honest. I'm actually going to try and make a lumber camp here. Now knights are coming in from Yo to start doing some harassment. Only one tower protecting... Well, all the farmland eco and a little bit of the wood. But another tower here also protecting it. But anyway, basically, these two knights can have some decent free reign with the plus one bloodlines. Fire sending some knights back to try and help out here. Whilst at the same time, a real aggression coming out the front. There's a couple of monks here. And actually some light cab from here from Yo. Ooh, light cab. Picks out the monk quite well. But it looks like he will lose him though to the knights and the camel combo. One monk will make it out alive. Oh, look at the bills now. 58 for 37. Looks like another TC has been popped up here by Yo as well. Just to start expanding out. Take some wood. Why not? Now there's some knights coming in from fire to take care of the rest of these towers. I just, I really feel like you should have got a siege workshop up and just dealt with it. Like, yeah, the monks, the monks are a good idea, but I feel like the, uh, you know, the siege workshop is a better choice. And now a second relic being picked up by Yo. I like this. And now Yo's building a castle too. Is he going aggressive with it or is he building it safe? He's building it safe just on the front here. And actually, it's quite a nice idea. It'll, it'll take out the tower and free up the space on the uh, main gold. So that's actually a very nice placement of the castle. And of course, it is a big entrance to the base. And Fire just calls it GG. Yeah. Oh. It was actually... I thought this could be a really cracking game, actually, when I, when it first started out. To be, to be honest, both players sort of forward each other. Like, Yo doing cut towers in Fire's base. And then Fire going for a forward. 
But I don't think Fire could have achieved, didn't achieve as much as he liked to do, I think, generally. He was a little bit behind on the eco as well. And, the, and, and I feel like Yo just got away with these towers far too easily to some degree as well. And then when Fire like, ran out on his gold, he was a bit like a lost, like a lost lamb. And is it like is it lost time? Is that the analogy? I I can't remember. But I just I'm just not gonna go any further than that. <laughs> so uh, thank uh, um I I have to apologize for that unfortunate segment where the fighting got really interesting. When I had that unfortunate drop. I wasn't actually I'm not sure what it was. It could have been my internet. It could have been Twitch. It could have been OBS. Either one or two. But anyway, it it happens. Like that shit just happens, guys. Uh, but I, I I can't do anything but apologize. So I'm sorry. But I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. Anyway, I was gonna look at those achievements. Uh, 6746, uh, economy wise, yeah, Yo's are looking pretty strong. Was well, actually a little bit more for fire, interestingly enough. And actually, the gold too, but the stone count, 2000, it's disgusting. 64 bills of 44 on the high front. Yeah, GG, well played. So I'm going to.